Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a review for Schwarzkopf Got to Be Fantastic Fresh and Full Dry Shampoo. And I bought this at Rite Aid for $6 and change. And um, the way this ended up happening was, because I'm trying not to buy things, and uh, the way this ended up happening was my husband and I had gone for a ride. And sometimes when we don't know what to do with ourselves, we'll just go for a ride because I have a um, hybrid vehicle, so I get really good gas mileage. So even if we go for a long ride, it doesn't cost a lot of money. But anyways, <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Um, but yeah, so we had gone for a ride, and you know how sometimes, like, well, I don't know about you guys, but I wash my hair every other day, and I was trying to like rush to get ready because you know it takes us women a long time to get ready and sometimes husbands complain you know why does it take you so long to get ready so I was trying to shave some time off the getting ready process and I, even though it was that third day I didn't wash my hair so then you know we go for a ride now we've been riding for I don't know like an hour or something like that and my hair was driving me crazy, you know, because every time I touched it, it just didn't feel nice. So I was the one that was driving. So I pulled into a Rite Aid and I said, I'm just going to run in here for a minute and get something. So I come out and he's like, what, what were you buying? So I took the can out of the bag and I showed him and uh, I said, I got to use some of this. So then, of course, I had to explain what dry shampoo was and that's a whole nother story. And I just right in the parking lot at Rite Aid, I'm, I was using this, and I love it. This is really good. Now, I had some dry shampoo at home in another brand, and um, I did a review on that one maybe about a year ago, and at the time, I thought it was okay because I had never used dry shampoo before, so I had nothing to compare it to. But now that I've used this, I realize that the one that I reviewed about a year ago actually wasn't very good. I mean, I think I said in the review that it was okay, but how can you really say when you've never used one before, you know, and you've got nothing to compare it to? So, now I would say not to get the one I reviewed last year. It was Salon Graphics Invisible Dry Spray Shampoo, because um, it really doesn't it really doesn't work that well compared to the got to be the only advantage to the salon graphics is it doesn't have any powder in it so it doesn't leave that white cast so if that's a problem for you then maybe you would want to go with that but um, I don't really think it's a problem with this one either though because even though this does have powder in it and it does leave a white cast you can fix that real easy and I'm going to show you in a minute because I'm going to do a demonstration because I was supposed to wash my hair today and I deliberately did not wash it because I wanted to do this review and do a demonstration for you guys. So um, before I do the demonstration though I do want to say that I can't really find anything to say bad about this because it works really well. The only thing is, like, it does have powder in it, and it's it will show up on my hair, but I'll show you how I fix that when I do the demonstration. The smell on this, it, I'm pretty neutral on the smell. It doesn't really have much of a smell to it. It's a very, very slight scent, but it isn't a bad scent, but it isn't like a, a perfumey scent either. It's just kind of a mild scent. I couldn't even begin to describe it. Um, but yeah, after you use it, your hair does not feel dirty anymore. It takes away that flat, see how flat it is up here? That's going to be gone. But I guess the best thing then is just to show you. So shake it up good. And what you want to do is you just want to take take like a section and squirt it just give it a squirt and then you know do do little sections 
Okay, see the white? We Don't worry about it. We're going to fix that. Okay. And then go to the back of the crown. And then, um, let's see, where else? Maybe in here. Whoa! <laughs> Is this a how-to and style video or a comedy video? Did you see that? I got it all over my ear. <laughs> okay, so anyways, yeah, this... It, it rubs right off. That's what I was going to show you is that just kind of fluff it in there. Just sort of like like rub it, rub it, itch it in like I probably will take <laughs> Oh man. Only me. That could only happen to me. I'm going to take a makeup wipe for, for the ear pot. <laughs> so, anyways. As you can see, after you rub it around a little bit, um, the white cast disappears. And so that's not really a problem. But, yeah, I really like this. And as you can see now, my hair lost that that flat effect and it feels wonderful like when you run your hands through it it feels like you just washed your hair nice and clean and um yeah this really is a fantastic dry shampoo <laughs> if you have any questions about schwarzkopf got to be dry shampoo leave them in the comment section and um for products today, I am wearing, oh, I got, looks like I got a little bit on my shirt, but guess what? Came right off with the makeup thing, the makeup wipe. Um, for products today, I'm wearing, my top is from Walmart. Totally forgot to put my jewelry on. My nail polish is OPI Designer De Better, and this is from the Muppets Collection. And I would say that this is a pretty darn good dupe for Chanel Graphite, except for you're going to need an extra coat. Chanel Graphite is so amazing, you can get away with just one coat, and it's beautiful. Uh, I usually do two anyway, though, just just in case. But I did, I did two on this, so I would say two coats of this is like equal to one coat of Chanel graphite but anyways yes beautiful silver foil silver metallic foil polish and that's from the Muppets collection by OPI for makeup today I'm wearing Dr. Jart BB cream Essence Forget It concealer palette MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. Wow, I almost just totally spaced on that. <laughs> um, sleek Blush in Pomegranate. Bare Essentials Primetime Eyeshadow Primer. Bare Minerals Eyeshadow Quad in the After Party. Loving these Bare Minerals Pressed Eyeshadows. I, um... I've got a quad now and a duo, and I would definitely like to get some more. I really like them. And, um, oh, I used all four colors. I used the three, three of the eyeshadows on my eyes, and then the black I just used as an eyeliner. MAC Zoom Lash Mascara. Revlon Color Stay Brow Enhancer in Blonde. Catrice Lip Liner in Nude Rose. And my lip gloss is NYX, NYX Girls, and it's the round lip gloss in Mauve. And that is it, and I think I'm going to film another video right away, so um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.